Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on resultant force for concurrent force system. So, let's get started. Now, here is a question in which it is given. There are five forces of and their values are given. I will read it and write it in the form of data. So, five different forces are given. I will name them that is F1, F2. 5 forces starting with 100 Newton then 200 up to 500 Newton are acting at angles of 40 degree so their inclination are also given it means F1 is acting at an angle of theta 1 which is 40 degree theta 2 100 degree All of them are acting in anti-clockwise direction from x-axis. It means all the angles are measured in anti-clockwise sense. At a point means all are having contact with a single point. All acting away from the point. It means it is full type of force. Find the resultant force in magnitude and direction. So we have to find out for such a system how much is the resultant force and its direction that is theta. So first I will draw the diagram. Here we have plus x axis, here minus x, similarly plus y minus y. Now the angle of the first force is 40 degree with respect to the horizontal. So that is 100 Newton force. Having 40 degree angle. Then 200 Newton force is having 100 degree angle. So here we have 90 and after 90 there would be 10 10 degree so we have 100 degree angle next it is 210 degree so since this horizontal line is of 180 degree then it is an in an anti clockwise sense and after that if i measure again 30 degree in anti clockwise direction so 180 plus 30 degree would give me the value as 210 degree so it is into the third quadrant then 400 newton is at 280 degree the first quadrant is having an angle of 90 here we have again 90 so that is 180 third quadrant it is again 90 so that is 270 and again 10 degree further we have a force of 400 Newton to 80 degrees then at last 500 Newton force at an angle of 340 degree since the complete angle or the complete revolution is of 360 degree so we want an angle of 340 so just leaving 20 degree from the plus x axis would give the location of force 500 Newton and the angle is measured in an anti-clockwise sense so this complete angle leaving 20 degree from one side is 340 degree that is the location of the fifth force now once we know the location of all the forces and since these angles are given we can start with the solution part for this problem Now into the solution part, here I will simplify the diagram which I have drawn into the data. The first force is 100 Newton acting at an angle of 40 degree. Then 200 Newton is acting at 100 degree with respect to horizontal so I can say that with respect to this vertical the angle is 10 degree it should look proportionate
then next is 300 newton force having angle 210 degree with respect to the horizontal x axis so i can say this horizontal line is of 180 then 30 degree further is 210 degree so with respect to this horizontal measuring 30 degree proportionate angle will give me the 300 newton force then 400 newton force is acting at an angle of 280 degree so here we have these quadrants as this is the first quadrant 90 degree here we have again 90 that is 180 and this is 90 which is 270 so 10 degree further with respect to the y axis at last 500 newton and we can see clearly that it is 340 with respect to positive x so from the other side that is 20 degree now once all the forces are known remember that in mechanics we never keep the forces inclined we have to resolve them in case of finding the resultant so here I am going to resolve all the forces starting with this 100 Newton force it is inclined at an angle of 40 degree with respect to horizontal so the component parallel to this horizontal line will be since the angle is measured with respect to it so that will be the force which is 100 cos 40 degree and perpendicular to it will be 100 sin 40 degree next with respect to vertical it is 10 degree so component parallel to this vertical line would be 200 cos of 10 because it is measured with respect to vertical so 200 cos 10 then the vertical component is cos so horizontal component would be sine next 300 newton is acting at 30 degree with respect to horizontal so the component parallel to it would be 300 cos 30 and perpendicular to it 300 sin 30 next 400 newton acting at 10 degree with vertical so the component parallel to it will be 400 that is the force into cos of the angle and the perpendicular component here would be 400 sin 10 degree then we have 500 newton force and it is measured with respect to horizontal so the horizontal component parallel to it would be 500 cos 20 degree and the vertical component would be 500 sin 20 degree so in this way all the forces are need to be resolved next i will find out summation of fx that is the sum of all horizontal forces this is the step we need to follow the sum of all horizontal forces which is summation fx wherein all the rightward forces are treated positive and all the leftward forces are taken as negative so when we look here 100 cos 40 is towards right hundred cos forty then minus two hundred sine ten then minus three hundred cos thirty because it is acting towards left then plus four hundred sine ten acting towards right then 500 cos 20 acting towards right so again plus therefore when i add up all the values the answer comes out to be it is 321.37 newton and since the answer is positive it means the total effect is towards the right hand side for the horizontal forces similarly i will be calculating the summation of all vertical forces 
wherein all the upward forces are taken positive and all the downward forces are treated as negative. So therefore, now when we look into this diagram, 100 sin 40 is acting upward, so that will be positive. 200 cos 10 acting upward, so positive. 300 sin 30 acting downward, so negative. 400 cos 10 acting downward, so negative. 500 sin 20 acting downward, so negative. After adding up all the values, the answer comes out to be minus 453.69 Newton. Since the answer is negative, it means that the total effect of all the vertical forces are in the downward direction. Now I can calculate the resultant. So therefore, the magnitude of resultant force is given by root of summation fx square plus summation fy square summation fx is 321.37 summation fy 453.69 so therefore the magnitude of resultant force comes out to be 555.98 newton so that's the first answer the magnitude has been calculated Similarly, the direction or the location of resultant force it is tan inverse theta is equal to tan inverse mod of summation Fy upon summation Fx. That's the formula for the location of resultant and in this summation Fy is 453.69 summation Fx 321.37 and in this mod sign we have to just put the values that is don't take the negative sign over here so therefore theta value would be 54.69 degree. with respect to horizontal and that's the second answer now I'll locate the resultant here we have positive x axis this is negative x here we have positive y axis and here this is negative y axis now since the summation fx value was positive so it means it is towards right summation fy negative so it is downward it means the resultant would be there in the fourth, fourth quadrant and it is inclined at an angle of 54.69 degree with respect to the horizontal so it should be proportionate we know we don't need to measure the exact angle here it should look proportionate because this is not a graphical method so the resultant is triple five 0.98 Newton and the angle with respect to the horizontal is theta is equal to 54.69 degree now the meaning of this answer is when we have number of forces like it in this example we had five different forces acting at a single point and all are acting away it means tensile forces or we can say full type of forces so all these can be replaced by a single resultant force acting in the fourth quadrant at an angle of 54.69 degree having the same effect as the combination of all the forces so that is the definition of resultant and it is a disturbing force which would try to move the body along its direction so that was the problem regarding the resultant force at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching